Welcome to the basic patch, Toreador. This is the most OP clan in Bloodlines. My goal is to not take a single point of damage. Now I don't have to play this way in this quest. I just want to. I just want to see if I can go through, play smart, not be lazy, and just not take a single point of damage. It is possible to do, to do it here. If you're wondering what that attack was, that was if you hit the attack button and forward, left, right, or backward at the same time, you get different attack combinations. They all do the same amount of damage, but they look different. They were supposed to be built into the game that you would get bonus damage under certain conditions, but they never really worked that out. Unfortunately, the best strategy for melee is just mash, you know, mash the, mash the button. But yeah, blocking was supposed to be incorporated, and different combinations of attack. Different combinations of blocking, of dodging. The ideal is to stagger the enemy just as he attacks, so it interrupts his attack. Of course, I could have also killed these guys easily with a shotgun too, just as well. Celerity plus a shotgun would have made this a joke. And help him in his battle against this Camarilla. Lifeless demon he may be, but I swear to fight at his side. <sighs> yes, now leave me. This theater is my domain, and I seek the peace of solitude. I was just sprinting through the game. I get three points here if I'd rate, waited until after. Um, the Giovanni Mansion, that would have been four points. So, that was a mistake. I just lost a point there. Not that it matters. I'm going to have plenty of points, but uh, that was a mistake. Hmm. Well, without saying too much, I think that... <laughs> no, young one. I aspire not to such lowly heights. My only interests are those of my clan and the Camarilla. <laughs> you will do well in this new life, young one. That I can see already. So we want to get this item. Killing the head runners once again, easy. Blood packs.
Nothing in there. The automatic shotgun is your friend. This is some more pro plays. Also, remember the head runners can only attack in a straight line, so if you move left or right, they can't hit you. This is a little handy shortcut. I think this is the moment I fell in love with Celerity. That would 100% have been a failed attempt normally, but with Celerity, I made it. I'm using this weapon because it's the ammo is free. And resupply. There are a couple resupplies here in this quest. Just want to get these guys out of the way so I can sneak.
Okay, we made it. Let's see if Gary the Nosferatu hates Toreadors. You're used to getting what you want, aren't you lovely? People just love your charisma, your face. They eat your words up like the rats eat the cheese in the trap. Oh, boss, where do you think you are? <laughs> I want to stick your lovely face in a piranha tank. I want to apply an acid glaze to your sculptured body. I want to throw your pocket mirror under a thresher and watch you fetch it. But I'm no butcher, boss. Are you? Behind you, boss. Who? Oh. oh, God, Toreador. You vainglorious narcissistic poser. How I loathe that determination of your kind to belie your true nature with Paris fashions and pomp. You are a dead thing, a creature of the shadows. Start acting like one. Miss me, boss? <laughs> you don't get it, do you? Sit and look pretty. Pretend you never died. Do some finger painting. What a pathetic waste of blood. Let's see what I got. For one of your kind, it ain't gonna be cheap. That thing behind that pretty face of yours is called a brain. If you want to survive in Chinatown, I suggest you use it. Or if all else fails, you could just use your pocket mirror to blind them. <laughs> so apparently he doesn't like finger painting. Evening. An impressive achievement, young Toreador. Someone of your character doesn't come in here every night. I'd like to give you something. It's not much. Just my way of letting you know that the barony of Hollywood appreciates your service. I'm glad to see the blood of my clan has found its way into the right people. Hopefully you won't spill it foolishly in some pointless display of fealty for that damn LaCroix. Come by in a little while. I should have something for you then. What's well, nice to be appreciated. So celerity does make this a lot easier. It can also get you in trouble in this quest. I don't do Amalia's second quest. What I end up doing is... What I end up doing is just consoling the two points. I, I just... I don't want to do her second quest. It's so... It's just frustrating. So I deliver this one and then just console two points, which I don't need. Okay, we get two enchanted items and we're going to get some armor. And we have $2,300. We're, we're going to have plenty of money. Too much. Which is technically a waste of four points in manipulation. So we do this quest, we do this quest, Auspex helps enormously. To do the Mitnick quest. Auspex and Celerity both help here.
Okay, I just went into wits and all specs. Just to be able to do this. I, I planned on going in, into them eventually anyway, so just do it now. And we get a poster. That's basically it. And I can see them move with Auspex. Auspex is very handy. I could do Blood Buff here, and really should. But I think if I stay against the wall, I should be fine. Easy quest. Ah, oh, look what just walked in. I can't imagine you'd get much of a rise out of Vesuvi. I think we should get to know each other a little better upstairs. Yeah, this is a character where investing a lot into seduction with console commands would probably be a good roleplay. Isn't this better? You and me alone for just a little while. I wanted to test if I wanted to test if I could use Celerity here without upsetting Vivi, and I was able to. Celerity and Blood Buff, you can't use guns in this quest. You have to stay quiet. And we get the photo. So yeah, I should have used uh, Presence in the fight, which I could have done, and an Auspex to give me more defense, which I didn't think I was going to need. But it worked, got it done. Um, she was a little bit tougher to defeat than I thought she would be, but we, we got through the quest very easily. And Vivi likes us. So that's it for this one, and I will see you in the next hub.